the Junko Furuta case in complete detail. Let's go. One of the most common suggestions to make a video about, and one of the most common questions on Q&As that I get, is what is the most horrific case I've ever heard of? It's a case that I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. Is that some now, shorty's fucking But I'm not hair? sure if you've ever heard about it in complete, gruesome detail. This is the story of Junko <laughs> Furuta, widely considered to be one I thought of the it was worst a shorty crimes talking. ever committed in human history. So for the love of God, please don't watch this if you're timing, sensitive bro. to extreme Guy's wearing violence, a parka uh, especially with like a hoodie, sexual hoodie over top, variety. and has, uh, I don't know, bro. Trust me. It's alright, bro. People like what they like. Junko Furuta was a young woman who was born Yo, in Misato. Yo, the, the hair that was missing in the beginning, bro, it's off her head Japan. top. Look. Her family consisted of a mother, father, an older brother, and a younger brother. She attended high school at a school in Saitama while working part-time at a plastic molding factory after Is that school. One Punch Man's name? <laughs> she was saving up for a big graduation trip she was planning. She was all set up to start working at an electronics store after Damn. she graduated. So she, she was fairly popular and well-liked by her classmates. She had great grades and was hardly ever absent. So basically she me, was active, valedictorian. attractive, and attracted a lot of attention, which made some people jealous. She didn't. Yo, I never understood people that were jealous of like people that were popular. If I was, cause, cause we obviously we were like at the top, like we were at the top of the fucking popularity. I guess I, I don't want to like you know what I'm saying, like, but like we were. But like, yo, do you think people were like jealous of us? Do you think people, yeah, 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 do you think people were jealous of us? I don't think people were jealous of us. Yes, I don't know. Drink, didn't smoke, and definitely never touched any drugs. This made her seem very lame in the eyes of the thugs around the school. The yuck yeah, is one of these. Right. One <laughs> of the boys in this group. <laughs> this is a demonic face scan. Bro, he looks like he knows Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, everything. Looks like he's about to get into the fucking UFC, bro. With the turtleneck too? Demonic. Group was named Hiroshi Miyano. He actually developed a bit of a crush on her and was physical with her. Alright. He proposed this and yeah, she sure. refused. Hiroshi Wait, was what? <laughs> Did he just get the digits and text, I'm trying to do some physical shit with you? What the hell kind of riz is that? Obviously that wasn't going to work, bro. He's a pretty big bully in this school. One of the only ones Ooh. actually involved with the younger members of the Yakuza at the time. Wait, what's the Yakuza? Usually nobody dared defy him. He couldn't believe that Junko actually had the gall to turn him down. The gall. That's a big word. Hiroshi you know, did not my, take this well uh, at inventory. all. He couldn't believe that anyone would ever reject him. He took it as a complete. Wait, do shorties be doing that? Do they like? Do they not reject a guy just because he's like scary? No way shorties be doing that. Bro, me personally, some bully ass guy comes up to me as a girl. Like, say I'm a girl. I'm not just gonna say yes. Let's go out, bro. I'm gonna say get the fuck out of here, bro. Come on and now. Total insult. He got together with a few of his wannabe Yakuza buddies and they all hatched a plan to get revenge what on Junko. What is Yakuza? Junko. They would get another one of their friends to attack Junko and then Hiroshi would come to the rescue. After he won a bit of her trust, they could take her wherever they wanted. On November 25th of 1988, Junko was riding her bike home from her part-time job <laughs> when an unknown boy attacked her and knocked her off of her bike. The boy who liked her, Hiroshi Miyano, was conveniently across the street while the whole thing Wait, happened. Wait, did they plan a whole thing to fucking, like, beef her and he was the hero? Honestly, like, W Riz. He came you to got, Junko's aid you gotta and do what you off gotta the do. random boy. He then offered to escort her home. Everything Honestly, seemed... that is top tier fucking Riz. <laughs> Imagine, bro, shorties be like, you saved my life. They, how could I ever repay you? There's some things you could do to repay me. I would hire a school shooter. Then when he comes to shoot her, I jump in front. Okay, that is over Douse. Okay, okay. It'd be going as planned. While Junko didn't actually trust him, it seemed better than the alternative of possibly being attacked again. She didn't have any idea that, that would you know be she- fucking terrible luck. Imagine getting beefed up, someone saves you, and then someone else comes and beefs you up. I'm taking my chances. 
I'm not going home with no bully. Harbored any sort of hatred towards her. She wouldn't have imagined that he would be planning anything like this. Like what? Like what? Hiroshi took Junko into an abandoned warehouse and revealed his Yakuza connections to her. He then took his time raping her over and over. Then he took her to a hotel. What the fuck? In the hotel, fuck? he called his friends, Joe Ogura and Yasushi Watanabe. This escalated way too fucking fast. This turned from W. Riz into the most... What the fuck? From then on, he and his three friends took turns assaulting her. Unfortunately, this was not their first time doing this. Yo, bro, as they had I, just recently- I hate this shit, bro. Bro, just- Just don't be fucking weird, man! Like, what the fuck? We done it to another girl in the past few weeks. Bro. They decided that they were having far too much fun to just set her free again. There was also the possibility that she would call the cops and tell them what happened, and they could Far too that. much fun?! No, bro, 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 <laughs> bro. it's actually scary how fucked some people are, bro. The next morning, Hiroshi took Junko bro. to a nearby park, where Joe, Yasushi, and a fourth boy, Nobuharu Minato, were waiting. They learned Junko's address and used it to threaten her, telling her that they would kill her entire family if she tried to get away. The four oh, I swear, yo, nobody in our grade, yeah, I don't think anybody would do that, but I think during the 80s and 90s, it was a trend to be fucking outrageous serial killer, do the most demonic shit possible, because this shit don't be happening as much now. It might, might be just because, like, technology and police, but, like, I don't know. Teenage boys then took her back to Minato's parents' home, where they continued to assault her. This is where, for 42 more days, she would be held prisoner. On the third yeah, day that true. Junko was missing, her parents were dealing with the police, trying to get her found. Knowing this would happen, the captors made her call her parents and tell them that she had run away and was staying with a friend, safe and sound. She was forced to ask her mom to stop the investigation. I'm trying to think, what am I doing in this situation? What am I really doing in this situation? I'm held hostage by four kids in my grade and i'm a shorty and these are the bullies there's not a lot you can do here and if if he's doing some crazy shit like they what they did already i don't know i think shorty's only option is to say what they or do what they say they held junko captive in the bedroom forcing her to pose as one Wait, of the whose crib is this these guys just have their own crib friend it didn't take long for the parents to realize that this was a lie Eventually, they dropped the whole girlfriend act altogether, as it was very clear that they weren't going to get in any trouble. Immediately after arriving at the home, the boys right. forced Junko into becoming their toy. They beat her relentlessly and raped her countless times Fuck, a day, bro. often taking turns. They were proud of what they were doing, regularly boasting to their friends that they had a woman trapped and ready for their personal use. They went to school and flexed that shit?! What, what what were they saying back? Like, yo, bro, you got it, bro. Yo, yo, I, I wish that was me, bruh. No! They invited a load of their friends to come over and have their way with her. In the first few days, at least 30 of them raped her, and at least 100 knew of her imprisonment. Even women were invited to come see the spectacle. <laughs> no bullshit. This is the craziest shit I'd have never heard. They basically made her a fucking zoo exhibit. They I, they said shorties came over and said, yo, 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 look at this shorty getting raped. What year was this? With I a don't young know. girl even being invited to come over and see the prisoner, who then took a pin and doodled on her face. By the day seven mark, Junko had been already completely stripped of all of her humanity. She was forced to be naked at all times and was constantly beaten and humiliated. They would shove her into the freezer for hours when they were bored with her, only pulling her out when they wanted to assault her again. Nobuharu Minato's brother- This is the absolute rock fucking bottom of humanity.
mother and parents were living in the same house that she was being No, nah, this she getting my blood boiling, bro. His brother did nothing aside from informing him that Junko might die at this rate. His parents were afraid to intervene as they yeah, had what? seen no- 30 plus people came and saw her? Nobody thought like, yo, maybe this is a little fucked up. I'm in like, I'm in high school. I should just tell my parents. All 30 was like, this is downs? Ugaru's violent nature firsthand. They also knew of his association with the Yakuza and feared of their possible retaliation. And most disgustingly, they worried about losing their good reputation in the community. After about 10 days of this torture, Junko's body was already starting to fail her. Because of the ongoing, endless beatings, so much blood had accumulated in her sinuses that she could no longer breathe through her nose. Her digestive system was also beginning to refuse food and water. If she attempted to Yo, eat or drink anything, she would instantly vomit. This also led to severe dehydration. Anytime Damn. she would vomit, her attackers would get angry and beat her even further. A vicious cycle that had no end in sight. When the nights got even colder, she was forced to sleep on the balcony of the home in extreme cold temperatures, sometimes near or below freezing. What? So when it got colder, like, fuck it, chuck her outside so it's even worse for her? Eventually, one of the men that the attackers would invite over to the house to see Junko would go on to tell someone else about her. Finally. Finally, somebody came to their senses and told someone. His brother. This brother of his ended up informing the police about what was going on at the Minato house. Two officers were soon dispatched to go check things out. Minato's parents came to the door. When the police explained the situation, the parents simply responded that there was no girl in the house. Wait, the parents was there this whole time? The parents was chilling in the house while the shorty was getting beat the fuck up and raped all day long and 30 plus motherfuckers are having a party around the shorty to getting raped? And the parents was sitting at home eating breakfast, eating lunch, eating dinner, drinking coffee? The police took it at face value, thanked them, and left. Oh my, without bro. ever bothering to check even a single detail. After 20 days of torture, Junko was years? That's, what I'm saying. That's not even that long! Wait, so when did this happen? Like, uh, math. 34. So 1990. This is 1990. you completely unable to walk. She had had lighter fluid poured on her legs and set on fire, leaving her with severe burns. Her Bro. This guy just got rejected by Shorty. And did literally the most inhumane shit I've ever heard in my life. Her legs had also been targeted so severely during the beatings that they were left with severe muscle damage. She was unable to grip anything with her hands anymore, as they had been smashed with dumbbells to the point where her bones were crushed and her fingernails were shattered. So they saw this damn near almost dead body and they were raping her every day and... Some nights later, the attackers got more rowdy than usual and ended up drinking too much. <laughs> they said rowdy? <laughs> what the fuck? That's my word, get out of here. Junko took this as a chance to try to escape. She crawled down the stairs from the bedroom and reached the phone downstairs. She picked up the phone and began to call the police. The phone rang and an officer picked up. Just as she was about to speak, Hiroshi came up behind her and grabbed the phone from her hands. He put the receiver to his ear and said, I dialed by mistake, hanging up the phone. She was then pulled back into the bedroom. She was in complete terror as she would obviously be severely punished for this. And she was correct. They punished her by holding her down and taunting her by waving a candle's flame all around her. Then they covered her entire body, mainly her my legs blood in lighter boil. fluid, and set her on fire once more. Afterwards, she started convulsing. The boys told everyone that she was faking it and set her on fire once again. Only set her on fire once again.
bro, this is up there with the fucking Dahmer shit, bro. Why is there no Netflix doc on this shit, bro? Only to put it out shortly after. Somehow, she survived. Yeah, bro, she's a, a fucking fighter. She's a fucking fighter for being alive. How is she alive? She's been set on fire twice. Tw twice. Twice. Beat the fuck up. Hands both don't work because she they got shattered by dumbbells. What else? She's been raped. She, did, did she even get fed, bro? She can't use her hands. Are they like... Bro, I, I can't even... I can't even comprehend what's From happening right now. From this point on, she began begging her captors to just kill her and be done with it. Bro, that, that's what they I'm doing. I'm saying like, bro, just murk me out already. Grant her that favor. After being set on fire, they discovered a new way to torture her. The boys would hold her head against the concrete while the others would jump on it. What? One can only imagine what kind of pain and damage this would have caused. After about 30 days, Junko was no longer able to urinate properly. She had suffered severe damage to her genitals after they had been burned with cigarette lighters. So she... Dude, I am, at, like, I am dead ass spe speechless. Bro, I've seen so many crime docs. I have never seen something as fucking gross and crazy like this. She also had various foreign objects inserted into her, many sharp and jagged. Even fireworks had been inserted into her. The fireworks were not limited to only one orifice, as they were also inserted Dude, into her anus, mouth- Dude, I can't even- I can't even fucking say anything! Just when I think they can't do anything worse- How the fuck are they putting fireworks in her and light- Mouth and ears as well. She was left with eardrum- I hope all of these kids got killed, bro. I don't wish death on anybody. I wish death on these fucks, bro. Damage so severe that she was nearly deaf at this point. Her hands and feet were so damaged that she could hardly move. At best, she could crawl. It took her over an hour to crawl to the bathroom. A later report showed that her brain size was greatly she still reduced alive? at this point in time. Due to her hellish appearance, the boys no longer found her attractive. They used the same strategy again to abduct and gang rape another 19 year old woman while she was on her way home from work. So what did they do with her? Where's Junko? Junko. During these 44 days of hell, Junko Furuta was forced to withstand the most unspeakable torture and suffering that a person can imagine. I don't think anybody has ever been- I don't think in the med medieval times people were suffered like this shorty right here. Some of what was done to her includes being raped many times every single day, day and night, in all orifices. More than a hundred men are believed to have raped her by the- A hundred fucking people. Not one? Dude, shorties came in there and didn't say nothing. Shorties came and saw this mangled girl and said, yeah, this is- this is Downs. Yen. Sometimes she was raped by up to 12 different attackers in a single day. Constant humiliation. She was forced to be left Constant. naked most of the time. Many of the men who raped her also urinated on her. She was forced to pleasure herself in front of the attackers for their entertainment. She was beaten physically every Dude, day. Cry, she was beaten bro. with golf clubs, iron rods, bamboo sticks, and various other objects. She had dumbbells dropped all over her body, and her head stomped against the ground, face first. Now this shit getting me tight, She bro. had hot wax poured all over her face with a Dude, focus- Dude, nobody, 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 nobody deserves this, bro. Except these eyes. guys, bro. I hope these guys- Bro, I hope there's an afterlife and these guys go straight to fucking hell. Her eyelids were also burned with cigarettes and cigarette lighters. Oh, she was violated with a long list of various objects shoved into all orifices, including, Fuck. but not limited to, bottles, both broken and unbroken, iron bars, scissors, roasting needles, chicken skewers, and more. She was given only the strict bare minimum of food and water. 
At times, she was forced to eat cockroaches and drink urine. She had fireworks put into all of her orifices, leaving damage and severe burns. She had her left nipple ripped off by a pair of pliers. She would be- No, bruh! No! She tied up flat on the floor and had dumbbells dropped all over her body. The drops on her abdomen were so hard that it caused her to lose all control of her bowels. Yo, what's up, Navi? She was hung from the ceiling and used as a punching bag. Bruh! She was shoved into a freezer and kept there for hours at a time. Her eyelids were burned with hot wax and lighters when she closed her eyes in fear. Yo, you're gonna- bro, this shit's fucked, bro. Just listen to what this shorty's saying. These four kids like kidnapped some girl and is doing this shit to her. Just, just, just listen. Her breasts were stabbed with sewing needles, the needles often being left inside. Her genitals were burned with cigarettes and lighters. She had a hot lit light bulb inserted into her vagina and moved around until it shattered. By the end, she looked like a completely different person after all of the damage. Bro. It was hard to even make out her uh, facial This is features. the original girl, bro. I want to see... This is kind of fucked, but I want to see what she looks like. Her body was severely damaged and crippled, and she smelled as if she were already rotting. Dude, what the fuck was the parents doing? There was parents living in this fucking house. She was Bro, bro, Navi. They fucking took pliers and ripped her nipple off. Continuously heavily bleeding from her genitals from all of the abuse. She wheezed heavily, struggling to breathe from all of the blood accumulated in her sinuses. On day 40, yeah, Navi, January off, 1st, Junko woke up to New Year's Day alone. She spent the day begging to be killed, completely unable to move. Three days later, on the fateful day of the 4th of January, the boys challenged Junko to a game of Mahjong Solitaire and forced her to play. Somehow, even in her condition, she won the game. This okay. infuriated her captors, who treated her to a- <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, after all that, how the fuck y'all lost in that game? How the fuck y'all lost? Bruh. She- you guys beat her until nothing. Oh, it's a luck game? Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. ...with severe beating with an iron barbell, and then poured lighter fluid all over her arms, her legs, her stomach, and finally her face, Bro, dumping lighter I know. fluid even into her eyes. Then they put a candle to her face, igniting it all. Who's the mod? That's she weakly boy. attempted to put out the flames, but didn't have the strength to do so. This final torture lasted for a grueling two hours altogether. Already having been in a horrible condition, Junko went into shock and finally died the following day. Fuck, bro. Minato's brother called him within 24 hours to inform him that Junko had died. The boys all rushed over to the house in a panic. Fearing what would certainly be a life sentence, or even a death sentence, the boys Dude, started to all these out. fucks deserve death sentence. But they Especially came up with this a one guy in the bottom left corner, bro. How the fuck you look like that, bro? Stop, bro. It's Weird ass fuck. death sentence. The boys started to freak out. But they came up with a plan. The captors then put her body into a 55-gallon oil drum and filled it to the brim with concrete. A small bit of Junko's long hair was poking out the top of the concrete something they apparently didn't notice. They disposed of the barrel at a construction site in Koto, Tokyo. Seeing that place now, you'd never imagine something like this was buried there. Oh god, bro! There was originally a good chance that the police would never find out who yeah, did this. Yeah, but why has there been no movie there on this shit? There weren't any clues to go on. Luckily, Hiroshi is a moron. While he was being questioned by the police two weeks later involving their recent gang rape of the unrelated 19-year-old woman, he got confused and thought the police were talking about Junko, as the Stupid cases were fuck. so similar. 
and Yo, thinking that one of the other boys must have already confessed, he spilled the beans. He realized his <laughs> mistake, but it was already too late, and he told the police where they had hid the body. Joe Ogura had already been arrested for another unrelated sexual assault case. fuck out of my face, bro. He was bro. quickly also arrested for Junko's case as well. The other boys were then arrested within the next few days. Later, the drum was finally opened and the concrete was broke open, revealing Junko's long-deceased body. Yes, I know, bro. This is a, yo, you should have seen from the condition. beginning, bro. The shit in the beginning was out fucking right. Yo. Bro. Nah, bro, I can't even say nothing, bro. This shit's fucked, bro. The reason these guys did this is because the shorty rejected the one guy. Shorty rejected one guy and did this shit all to that shorty for just because she got he got rejected. Junko's family was nah, notified bro. and told of what happened to her in detail. When her mother heard the details of what was done to her, she fainted. She ended up in a long-term stay in a psychiatric hospital. Bro, like 18. An autopsy was performed in high school, Junko, something at high school. revealing the true horror of what had happened to her. Small bottles like were found school, still stuck school. in her rectal cavity, and it was revealed that she was pregnant, although the damage to her uterus was severe. Her face was so completely mutilated that she had to be identified by her fingerprints. Being that they were juveniles, Where did you find the court I saw someone else the names of the four captors. So I was like, but I'm journalists from shit. Shukan Bunshin magazine were able to find out exactly who they were and publish the names of all of them, stating that they were inhuman and therefore didn't deserve human rights. That's fine. Nobody really Straight contested up. this. As we know, they were Hiroshi Miyano, 18 Damn. at the time. Joe Ogura, also 18 at the time. This fuck don't look 18. Nobuharu Minato, who was 16 at the time, and Yasushi Watanabe, who was 17. All four of these monsters were caught and sent to trial. I ain't gonna lie, the whole time I thought Shorty was talking again. I, I was convinced that it was a Shorty. I did not know it was a fucking guy. During each trial, it was pretty common yeah, for onlookers to pass out upon hearing the details of the case. Even with all that they had done, they didn't really show any semblance of remorse. The fuck these guys. And despite all of this, they received extremely light sentences for Bruh! such horrific crimes. Light, bro? They were actually still being tried as juveniles, but after much backlash, they were changed to uh, adult status. Bro, prison is the bare fucking minimum for these fucks. They deserve... To get everything done, they deserve a fucking whole ass light bulb get shoved in their cock hole and let that shit break and rip that shit, bro. They deserve all Still, that shit, Still, after being upgraded to adult status, they received unbelievably light sentences. Something that, to this day, continues to enrage people who hear about this case. The boys, somehow, were not charged with murder. Instead, they received a charge called causing bodily injury resulting in death. In Japan, what the, the fuck does that mean? system is far more focused on rehabilitation What the fuck is that? Punishment. That's murder, bro. That's Something just another way to say murder. On my yuki -Oh Yamaji video. Usually this means that juveniles will end up getting relatively very low sentences. Hiroshi was sentenced to 20 years in prison. He didn't get life even. This guy got tw bro. This guy would have been out in 2010. Is this guy out? This guy would have been roaming around in 2010. Inato got a five to seven year sentence himself. Watanabe got nine years, and Joe got an eight year sentence. One sad thing is that these monsters actually received even lower sentences than that at first. There were only increase to the still low amount. They got less than appeal. ten fucking years. It was so low. Is this the some... fuck? Is this him, bro? Bitch ass kid. People even questioned if their yakuza ties were to blame for this. By the time of this recording, every single one of the four boys is out of jail and living free. Three of them were in jail for less than eight years. Hiroshi, the ringleader, Are was sentenced to seventeen kidding? years originally. He tried to They're appeal, out? but as kind of a fuck you, the judge actually upped his case to 20 years. The same thing happened to two of the other boys, and after seeing enough, the four boys we, decided- Bro, we, bro, bro, I'm not gonna lie, they need to make a Netflix doc on this shit so everyone can team up and find these fucks and- Bro, 
They should put them in a museum. They should make a museum just for these guys. Put them in the middle and anybody can do whatever the fuck they want to these fucks. Not bro, to put this shit on you. Netflix, bro. However, they all ended up getting out long before those sentences were actually Please out. tell me they got murdered. And I or... bet you're wondering if they continued to commit yes, crimes after me. they got out of jail. Well, let's see. After Nobuhara Minato got out of jail, he changed his first name to Shinji. He did this for obvious Bitch reasons. Bitch ass kid. In 2006, he got married to a woman from Romania and had Wait, a daughter together. Wait, that's the woman together. he got married to? What the fuck they is that? They soon divorced and the wife ended up with custody of the child. Minato couldn't stay away from murder for too long. He was eventually arrested again for the attempted murder of a businessman. The man had noticed Minato staring at him, to which he <laughs> that asked, what are you looking at? <laughs> Minato came oh. <laughs> over and punched the man. The man then got out of his car and a fight ensued. It escalated to the point that Minato took out a baton and beat him severely. As the victim tried to get back into his car, Minato slashed his neck with a knife he had hidden. The police were called See, at some point and this is even more humane than the, the shit they did before. In the chaos, Minato escaped. The fuck? He was soon caught and arrested. He denied attempting oh, yeah, murder, that's saying him, he that's only him. intended to beat the man. <laughs> I thought that was his choice. The case is ongoing. <laughs> Joe Ogura was released in August of 1999. He also ended up changing his name to Joe Kamisaku. Fuck you, Joe! He actually had the gall to brag about his role in the kidnap and torture. Fuck this kid, bro. His father had vowed to give their Fuck entire you, life Joe. savings to Junko's family out of shame. Wait, whoa, what? His father had vowed to give their entire life savings to Junko's family out of shame. I don't, I don't shame. care. Like, even if he gave all that bread, bro, you fucked up as a father. You fucked up as a human being if your dude is doing this shit, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You deserve to kill... Give the money to the parents of the of the Jay who died and fucking commit suicide, bro. Get the fuck but out Joe of here. But Joe ended up taking this money and using it for himself to live a fairly extravagant lifestyle. Joe's mother wasn't much better, as she actually vandalized Junko's grave, saying that it was Junko who ruined her son's life. Joe actually managed to find some... No, no, no. So there's where it comes from. How to fuck... How do, how, what, what, the mom said the shorty lo ruined Joe's life? Did you not, did you not hear the fucking autopsy report? Fucking bitch. Women to date him. He ended up marrying a Chinese woman, but the marriage didn't last too long. Afterwards, he started dating another. Bro, 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 bro. The fucking mom of this jit said that the shorty that they killed ruined the kid's life. Bro, nah, Woman. bro. He went back to prison in July 2004 for seven years for beating a guy he thought was luring his girlfriend away from him. He had kidnapped and beaten the man for four oh, hours. Oh, yeah! He the, proudly told- The mom vandalized the shorty's grave that died. Fuck, bro. The victim that he had killed before and would do it again. He was sentenced to four years in prison. Dude! Wait, are they in China? What are these light ass sentences, bruh? Four years for killing people? Nine years for brutally torturing a shorty? Nah, nah, but nah, But nah, in nah, 2009, nah. he was once again free. And he is still free to this day. What did he get four years the for? I think leader, killing someone Hiroshi or Miyano, someone up? Who went he right back into his previous gang activity immediately after being released from prison. He was arrested for fraud at some point after this, but didn't see jail time for it. Right now, it seems that he's living a fairly normal life. Some might even say a good life. He is a regular patron at a local kickboxing gym and appears to have a normal social life. We, we gotta find these As of now, Yasushi Watanabe is the only one of the four boys who hasn't been arrested since. Because of that, it's not really known what he's been up to. Since the investigation first started, the police have been able to get DNA we need a, from the sperm oh God, pubic these guys should be found in the same shit to, be to link several guys. more criminals to the crime including two men named Koichi Ihara and Tetsuo Nakamura, both of whom were arrested, and there are probably many they others who have not him. been revealed to the public. It is unknown if they will all face any sort of charges. Time will tell. Yeah, bro, Gene Fox, bro. So there it is, the worst case. Bro, I forgot a guy was talking again, bro. I, I get this question shorty. a lot, and it's, it's just always this one. There are a couple of others that come kind of close, but... It's really hard to top something like this. 
I mean, you've got the brutality, the length, no, the No, bro, this is scale. the most fucked case just, I've ever heard, bro. The Dahmer shit so is light compared Asking if you like this video girl. seems a little bit fucked up. So, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a I like. It helps me out. It. Although, I doubt this video is going to really be pushed, but, yeah. If you like dark content like this, uh, be sure to subscribe. Fuck, I, I do bro. a lot of it. And if you'd like to support this channel even further, I do have a Patreon page that's linked Yo, in the description. Yo, fuck the Patreon page, bro. Get the fuck out of here.